Hey everyone, Val here. So, let's talk PCR tests and traveling. So, we just traveled down to St. Lucia to a Sandals Resort and it doesn't matter if you're vaccinated or not, everybody has to take a PCR test before they travel. And you have to take it <clears throat> five days prior to traveling, up to five days prior to traveling or less. Um, so we wanted to go ahead and book our PCR tests so that we knew we had them booked. Um, I was trying to get as much done as possible so it would be less stress on us. Um, so we typically would go to uh, Better Med. When we went to the Better Med website to book our test, you couldn't book them in advance to traveling because they are so busy right now. So what they required you to do is get up at 6 a.m. The, um, the testing for the day, you had to get on their site at 6 a.m., make your appointment for that day. When the appointments were gone, they were gone. Um, some of the, the sites <clears throat> filled up very, very quickly, so you had to make sure that you were ready to go at 6 a.m. I'm the kind of person that needs to be prepared and waiting till 6 a.m. to do something for that day scares me. I would rather have it scheduled a week in advance so I know when I'm going to go. I know I'm going to get my test um, and I know you know I'll be able to get in. Doing it that way I was scared that we wouldn't be able to get in that the, the slots would fill up faster than we could get to them. So <clears throat> we decided to go to CVS instead and I did talk on the phone to CVS and I said look um, they require a PCR test um, through the sinuses um, it has to be, it cannot be self-administered, um, and it cannot be a rapid test. It has to be a test for traveling, and they assured me on the phone that that's what it would be. Um, that they said, you drive up through the drive through window, you hand them your insurance card and your ID and your appointment slip, because they do give you an appointment to do it. They hand you the stuff out the window. They watch you while you do it. So they that is not considered self-administered because they're observing you doing it. And then you seal everything up. You put it in a little drop box outside the window. And um, you're good to go. So this was my experience with CVS. Okay. Steve and I are not sick. We have not been sick. Um, no symptoms at all of COVID. I'm going to start by saying that um, we felt fine, absolutely fine. So we, I had an appointment at 11. He had his appointment at 1110. Um, we drove in separate cars because we were coming from our work sites. And um, I drove up to the window and I waited and I waited and I waited. And finally, a young girl came to the window, and I handed her my ID and my appointment slip and everything that she needed. And she closed the window, and she walked away with all of my stuff. And I waited, and I waited, and I waited an extremely long time. And then she sticks everything into a bag, and she hands it out the window to me, and she walks away. So I said, okay. I thought they were going to observe me doing this and stuff. So I open the bag and I look at the vial and I look at the paperwork and it's not mine. My name is not on it. It's somebody else's name. So I can't use this PCR test because it doesn't even have my name on it. It has Elizabeth somebody on there. So <clears throat> I waited for her to come back and I waited and I waited and I waited an extremely long time. And in the meantime, cars were pulling up behind me and they got tired of waiting and, and drove off. And... Um, Finally, she came back to the window and kind of looked at me like, why are you still here? And I said, this isn't my name on this. This is not my test. And she took it back. She goes, it isn't. And she took it back. And she closed the window and again walked away. And again, I had to wait. Um, CVS, this is not very professional at all. Not very professional at all. 
So she come back to the window and she handed me another bag and I said, aren't you supposed to stand there and watch me take this test? It can't be self-administered. And she said, no, we don't have to do that. Just do it. And um, uh, I wasn't really happy with the whole attitude and the whole way the thing was done. Um, very, very unprofessional CVS. Do not recommend them. Do not go there. Anyway, so I gave myself the test. I dropped it in the drop box and I drove away because I said, so I just do it, drop it in the box and drive away. And she said, yes, just drive away. Um, so I did it and I drove away and uh, Steve was the same way except for, you know, he at least got his name on his. Um, he didn't have to wait for a second test, but um, we waited. And the next day our results came back through their website and we both tested positive for COVID, positive, and we knew we didn't have COVID. Um, <clears throat> so we went onto their, their site to look at the notes and the, the notes on mine had said that I saw a doctor, I saw a, a nurse practitioner, um, I saw them because I was exposed to COVID and I was worried that I had COVID. That was a notes on the, on the thing that, that uh, in, on my file. Um, I was exposed to COVID, I was afraid I had COVID, and I came for a PCR test because I was exposed to COVID, which was not the truth. I never saw a nurse practitioner. I never said I was exposed to COVID. I was taking the test to go on vacation. So the falsifying of my medical records, I don't appreciate that CVS. I don't appreciate you saying I saw a nurse practitioner when I didn't. I don't appreciate you saying I was exposed to COVID when I didn't. And to top it all off, they sent our test results to the health department for our state. And we got something from the health department saying that we've been reported that we have COVID when we neither of us had COVID. So we, needless to say, we're extremely upset because now how can we go on our vacation? We don't have COVID. We don't have a positive PCR test. So as soon as Steve, Steve got his results before I did, as soon as he called me, he was on his way home. I called Better Med and I said, you have to get us in. Um, there's, we, we have to, we're going on vacation. We need a, a PCR test. And uh, luckily they had one spot that uh, somebody didn't show up and they were able to take Steve in. He turned around, he was on his way home, he turned around and went up there and he did get his PCR test done properly. He did see a doctor or a nurse practitioner. They took his temperature, they took his vital signs, they swabbed his nose, they, everything. They asked him all the medical questions. Um, you know, why are you taking the test and, and, you know, and it was properly done. Um, <clears throat> the next morning I got up at 6 a.m. and I, and Steve and I both got on the computer. We sat on the computer for, for 10 minutes before 6 and just kept refreshing the page and each of us were on a different Better Med site and, um, that did one day tests that were, um, not rapid tests. They were legal for, for traveling. And uh, we did get in and I got in at 8 o'clock. I got an 8 o'clock appointment and I went in and properly saw a nurse, properly answered all the questions, properly had my blood pressure taken and my vital signs and my, listened to my heart rate and breathing and had a proper appointment um, with a proper nurse practitioner, not a, a fake one on a piece of paper that was a lie. And um, our PCR test came back negative the, the same day or, you know, later that evening. I think mine was actually the next day. Um, his came back negative. I knew mine was coming back negative. We knew we didn't have COVID. We knew we weren't exposed to it. Um, we were being extremely careful for a couple of weeks because we knew we had to take PCR tests. So we were totally avoiding everybody um, in, in most situations. So, you know, we knew that that uh, and what they said was well you can uh, be asymptomatic and I said well Steve maybe one of us could be asymptomatic but how likely it is that two people in the same house are asymptomatic probably not very likely somebody's gonna have a symptom of some kind lack of taste um, coughing sneezing a fever neither of us had a fever um, 
and we he takes his temperature every day <clears throat> I get my temperature taken pretty much every day so we knew we didn't have fevers and we knew we weren't coughing I have sinus issues I've had sinus issues for over 10 years because of allergies or whatever I don't know but I know that's normal I know that's not um, any kind of flu symptom or any other kind of symptom I don't appreciate false reporting of any kind in my medical records and it was totally false reporting by CVS they put in there and I am going to put a complaint in they, they put in there that I had been exposed they put in there that I came for a PCR test I saw a nurse practitioner because I was exposed that is not the truth they put in there that we were positive for COVID that was not the truth they reported it to the health department so now the COVID numbers if they're doing that to 50% of the people that come through there then 50% of the population here that's taken PCR tests through CVS are being reported to our health department and that's why our numbers look so high and that may be why the numbers in other areas look so high um, you can't trust the numbers and I, I just it, when people say you know the numbers are out of control it's because of false reporting and it's very sad that it's being done this way and I'm not saying it because of hearsay I'm saying it because it's happened to us and um, so this video is not something that is made up this is the truth I'm just reporting the truth if you need a PCR test for traveling avoid CVS it's a scam um, they're, they're probably going to take insurance money from us and then the insurance company is probably not going to pay for our second PCR test um, so so they've scammed our insurance company too which we will report it to our insurance company also um, but um, the, totally not go there anymore <laughs> I've learned my lesson on that uh, better med is amazing they're top-notch they you do have to have an appointment because of um, how busy they are now but you know take t I have to take my chance and I have to do the 6 a.m. Uh, sign in online because at least you're getting quality care so that's all I've got to say about that it was very very stressful for us to sit and to wait for documents we had to wait for our PCR test to come back and then send our PCR test to St. Lucia government um, so that we could get our papers for authorization to come into the country they needed our PCR tests so when the first ones came back positive and it was a false positive and um, we knew that we couldn't use those because we wouldn't have been able to travel we knew we had to go to uh, a place that would do it correctly um, we had submitted all of our paperwork to the government already we were just waiting for our PCR results which had to be five days out so or five days or less out so we ended up the day for, we were going to fly out Sunday morning at um, 6 a.m. our flight was 6 15 a.m. so we would have had to been at the airport at 4 we were staying in Richmond by the airport which is an hour and a half from where we live um, so that we could just get up at 4 a.m. and go to the airport and we were there we needed all of our paperwork printed out um, Saturday afternoon it was Saturday when I was calling down to the St. Lucia government and saying look we're I've just put the documents last night into the government website can you expedite our stuff because our flight is in the morning tomorrow and I don't think everything was done the first document we sent I sent to them they couldn't read it so they asked us to upload a different document luckily on the better med website they did have two separate documents so in one I do see where it wasn't as readable as the other one so the longer document I did save that document and upload that one and that one they accepted but sending it in calling them and saying please expedite us we we want to go on our vacation and then pushing it through and then for the res the result of that coming back and saying we can't read it we need something else uploaded and having to go through trying to find something else and to upload it and um, send it over to them again and then call them again and say I uploaded the document please push that one through um, you know and then finally waiting and waiting and refreshing my page and packing and saying this has got to go through I'm gonna pack you know we've been waiting to pack because we didn't know what was gonna happen 
and the stress levels were out of this world for us for me anyway um, and just watching the computer waiting for those documents to come back and, from the government and finally Steve's came back and it was a go and, and it was the authorization to go to the government and I said well if yours is back mine's got to come back and I waited another 15 minutes I think and finally mine came back through and I printed everything out and put everything in folders for us with um, our negative PCR tests and our travel documents from St. Lucia government our um, our passports <clears throat> um, everything else that we needed our, our health screening test that we needed to fill out a health how are you feeling health screening which they also passed out on the airplane before we got there we had to fill out you know how do you feel today and in that kind of have you been exposed to anybody with COVID all those questions but uh, finally around a little afternoon I guess um, maybe one or one o'clock or two o'clock in the afternoon I finally got all the documentation and we knew that we're, we were going to be able to go so the relief just kind of came off me and I like the anticipation of knowing you're going on vacation and you're packing and you're looking forward to everything I didn't I wasn't able to have that with this vacation I, I didn't know if I was going to go I couldn't get excited because how do you know you're going to go until you get all that paperwork back that says you can go? So um, <clears throat> that part of my anticipation was kind of a bust. But um, I just want to tell everybody avoid CVS uh, when you have to go do uh, a PCR test because um, I don't know if it's the one I went to or it's everyone out there. But they are definitely not professionals at uh, at doing that. It's uh, You're going to get faults false positives they're going to turn it into your state and your numbers are going to be crazy high and um, it's it's all it's ridiculous so uh, my opinion uh, my experience um, just wanted to share that with you the trip was amazing be looking out for the video it's coming so thank you all for watching give it a thumbs up subscribe if you're not subscribed and you want to and I'll catch you on the next video bye now Hmm.